Welcome, Kat Ray here. So today we will be making some hanging baskets. So this is an example of the basket that we are making. My husband, who is an artist, kind of created this for us. But this is the empty basket that we're going to be using. So let me tell you a little bit about these. So I bought these two hanging baskets last year with some annual plants in them, thinking I would let them die off every winter and then I'd plant new annual ones. But I'd never had hanging baskets before and I had to go over there and water it like every day and I was just like, this is kind of a nuisance. So we're putting them on a brim that we built, oh man, a couple of years ago. I'm gonna use the dirt kind of like the foam since it's outside, I don't have to buy the foam. And they're fake plants, they're beautiful and they'll just be there forever and I won't have to water them. This will be so wonderful. But let's make this out of these plants we bought from Michaels and Amazon. All right guys, let's get started. So just to show you a little bit about this actual basket, we bought this off of Home Depot. I really loved it because of the pattern. And if you look here, it's not a circle, it's kind of got the little edges to it. So it will be hanging on the pergola like this. So let me show you the plants we got. So I got these hangy ivies because I love ivies and we definitely need something that's gonna hang over. And these just look so real as fake plants because sometimes you see fake plants and they're just like outrageously fake. They just look so silly, but I love these. So we're not gonna just stick them both in the front. We gotta kind of put them or not way to the sides because you're really only gonna see it from one side. So we'll do them both towards the center, but off to the side just a little bit. So they're not too crowded in the middle But then we gotta fill something up top. So we got this one for the top. The cool thing about these is they're kind of wiry, so you can shape them a little bit. We'll stick it right in the middle. Take some of the pieces through the back or through the side, just so it isn't too bulky right there. if I can do this without hurting them because that's the last thing I want to do is buy some fake plants and then go and break them. So yeah, let's get this, be gentle. Okay, so you can see we are getting most of it towards the side, but we've got room for our little accent flowers. So I bought a blue one and a yellow one because it'll go well in there. Just add a little bit of color, but not tons of colors because yeah, that's one thing you can really run into trouble with, with um, fake plants, is the flowers. So, we got these little ones. We'll put this one about right there. Then the yellow one. Okay, I think I got this arranged real good. So I'm going to compare mine to Josh's. Okay, well, I do like his better, but I think this looks really good. We have to adjust it just a little bit when we go outside, but let's go see hang them up. Okay guys, let's, let me tell you something funny. So I had put it together what I was thinking would be pretty and then Josh came over, he took the whole thing apart and put it back together. And honestly, he did such a better job because he's the artist. Now they kind of match. But let's go get these babies hung up. Hey guys, doesn't that look so beautiful? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments as to if you like it, what you would have done differently. But I just love ivies and it's gonna grow down like that. We've got some pastas down there. They're gonna be growing up, kind of blocking our neighbor's yard. 
And if you come in from the side of the house, that's probably the one of the first things you see as you walk in from the front yard. So I am looking forward to a wonderful summer with lots of fun projects. I hope you join me for those. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.